Alrighty, okay, it's been a while, I know, I'm sorry, but I have been figuring things out, and I'm not playing around with, like, figuring little things out, I've been figuring the big guns out, and I'm gonna tell you guys as much as I possibly can right now in a video um, about the future of Canada's Wonderland. And I'm going to tell you right now, and you've heard it before, um, we've been talking about it a lot, but I can confirm now that Canada's Wonderland is under a serious redevelopment um, process. And so much so that they've sought out the help of third-party companies to come help design new attractions and keyword redesign old attractions to better fit into a new theme park, essentially transforming Canada's Wonderland from an amusement park into a theme park in Canada. So this is definitely an extensive project that is going to be taking place at Canada's Wonderland, and it's going to be happening over starting now, actually probably even starting on the past attractions, I would say Frontier Canada started it all. But moving forward, it's only going to get more accelerated. I'm hearing things from walk around characters finally um, coming back to Canada's Wonderland over the years. I'm hearing themed music is being discussed. I'm hearing there's a major plan for Splashworks, but we won't get into that quite yet. But I'll tell you right now that I figured out that this rendering on the screen right now, the Blast Coaster, is a fully designed concept. So this concept art was presented and designed by a firm, a third-party company, um, as a idea for an attraction at Canada's Wonderland, and it looks like it's gone forward. So much so that I can tell you that there is a construction update that I'm not allowed to film for you guys. I have been told to not film inside Wonder Mountain. So I can't film what is going on, but I'm going to tell you guys what's going on, okay? So pretend like there is footage in front of you, but they are clearing out the mountain. We're talking old Hanna-Barbera stuff, Hanna-Barbera stuff, however you want to pronounce it. It is all being vacated from the mountain. Um, there is a ton of of um, formations in the mountain getting ready to pour B&M sized columns inside there as well as little tiny formations to restructure the mountain as well. Um, so definitely get ready because they are moving forward with that attraction and it definitely is going to be happening. Whatever they decide to build, we don't know if it's going to be a wing or an invert or some first of the kind, but they are moving forward with something. Now, moving on to other areas of the park, I don't know what the theme for Kingswood area is going to be, but I'm going to assume it's going to be World Expo, but expect something big there as well. I also expect the hotel making an appearance down the road, whether it's changed or whatever, or a new plot of land. Maybe it'll end up being Kingswood. Um, who knows? Um, I also have also, also, also heard that Front Gate is on the list for our renovation, okay? We have seen signs of it, and it is definitely on the list. Um, furthermore so, Splashworks is oddly on the list as well. It, it appears from my rumblings that Splashworks may be on the list to receive a complete overhaul. Um, and they might aggressively go after the Canadian theme in Splashworks and alter Splashworks altogether. So those are things that are coming down my pipeline into my rumor mill. Um, so we will have to be paying attention to a lot. Trust me, things are about to get started. I would say land clearing is going to start sometime in December or January, early January. It's going to be late December, early January that land clearing starts um, for our 2025 coaster, but Wonderland is under a rapid expansion phase, so pay attention. Anyways, I wanted to quickly drop this information for you guys and get you hyped up as the construction updates will be coming back, but unfortunately, as you heard, I can't film inside the mountain. I am actually restricted, um, but nonetheless, um, stay tuned. Um, because there will be drone updates because there will have to be land clearing starting again in December or January. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.